All right, guys, today's video is going to be uh, pretty interesting, in, in my opinion. At least it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, I'm putting JK seats in my TJ. And on the surface, that doesn't sound very exciting, but they don't, they're not a direct bolt-in. Uh, they don't just, just fit. This video is kind of a mess because I have, I've already installed them, and it took a couple days. Uh, I got a little summertime cold in the middle of it. Uh, there's all kinds of things that happened that kind of slowed me down. It rained a lot. And, uh, and it just didn't go very smoothly. I had a video card get corrupted, which uh, destroyed a lot of the video that I'd taken. So it's gonna be a little abbreviated, and it's not gonna be a how-to step-by-step of how to put JK seats in TJ. It just didn't work out that way. So realistically, I'm gonna show you a few highlights, and then we'll jump to, uh, to them actually being installed. Hopefully the, the video helps. Uh, if they're even thinking about putting JK seats in a TJ, uh, at least to see that it is possible and uh and it works pretty good once you get it done so guys this is what i got i got some jk seats these are dirty they came out of a a, a, T, a jk a guy was putting some suspension seats in it got them for really cheap we're going to continue with the theme of, of my jeep being as cheaply built as possible so uh, i got these seats uh just the fronts for 50 bucks a seat so 100 bucks for the for the two they're in really good shape they are dirty and we'll have to shampoo them but there's no rips, no tears, everything works. There's no uh, issues with them. There's no corrosion. There's no nothing like that. So they're great. They're great seats and they are comfortable compared to, especially compared to my old seats. Uh, they fit me a lot better. So that's what I've got. We're going to work on installing them. Now <clears throat> you might see the problem immediately is that these seat risers obviously are made for a, a JK floor pan. So I've got to mate the TJ risers to this seat and my other seat, then mount them into the Jeep with making them fit. They are wider seats, and from everything I've read online, they barely clear by half an inch maybe on, on each side between the console and the cage. We'll see how that works. I'm sure it's going to be frustrating as hell. I will probably, I will definitely have to make a bracket to make them fit, and I'll try to show as much of that as possible. So when you're taking out your stock seats, there's four bolts that you have to take out. Two of them are underneath these flaps. Uh, you can see that's a T50, I believe, Torx. And I would replace these Torx with regular uh, hex head bolts if you can. Uh, whenever you go through all this, uh, you can see there's two, one right here, one right there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take those out and get this seat out and you can kind of see uh, what, we're, what we're dealing with. One more thing, these bolts go through the body um, and I believe three of the four, maybe two of the four, I can't remember. Anyway, a couple of them are visible in the, uh, underneath the Jeep if you're up under there, a couple of them are in like a, a seam. So I would pre-soak all of them from top and bottom with some PB Blaster or something like that or especially if you're from up north, uh, it, it could you could break the head off of the bolt very easily. Maybe even if you're from up north and you have a little bit of corrosion on your Jeep, uh, maybe even preheat the, uh, the the bolt a little bit uh, to break loose any of that uh, corrosion. Here's the passenger seats. Comparison between the stock on the left and the JK on the right. Looking at them like this, they look like they're roughly the same size. They are not, not even close. If this JK was on a tall enough riser to be up even, this would be even with this. And then of course the headrest would be up here. <clears throat> the seat bottoms are about the same. Looks like the JKs might be a little bit longer. I, well, actually I know it's a little bit longer. And then the width at the top of the seat is much wider with the JK. If I sit in this seat, my shoulders are up here, my head's up here, and I have no support for my shoulders or shoulder blades. On this seat, when I sit in it, my shoulder blades are right here and right here, and plenty of support. It's so much more comfortable for someone over 5'10". <clears throat> I think it's going to be a good, uh, a good fit. So there, hopefully you can see, this one has the, the fold and tumble. Uh, or the tumble up uh whatever the hell it's called um feature and then this one doesn't it just slides forward and backwards jk has a lot more room behind the uh behind the driver's seat or the passenger seat so they don't have to tumble up they fold forward a little bit further too so so you can see the biggest difference between the jk and the tj seats as far as how they mount is the slider and uh and mounting brackets uh, to the floor you can see this is the jk and then that's a standard TJ one, or very similar to the YJ one as well. Now, there's not 
really there are still four mounting points you can see the four holes there and the four holes here but they're obviously not the same width they're not the same anything really you have to make a bracket to put that onto that first thing i do is get that one off so i can tell exactly where everything needs to be so all you got to do is undo these these screws here and all that and and then these pieces should come off and then you can get to the slider and pull it off i think so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this but right now i've put the seat riser back in uh not completely i've just kind of set it in there uh, and now i'm gonna set the seat in there and kind of see where it needs to lay uh, as far as in relation to this roll bar and you can see the fold and tumble um feature is going to still work uh, i'm not sure if i can make it work with the with the cable that normally runs it that where you just pull the little thing or pull the thing up here and, and pull forward but this lever will still work so um it shouldn't be an issue that'll bolt through so i'll still have the fold and tumble feature um if i use this riser which i will let me set the seat in there and see where it's going to line up obviously i'm gonna have to make a bracket to where a flat piece of metal quarter inch or something comes across and creates a mounting point further out over here uh, because I believe that's this is where I'm going to be short at is over here because the way the seat's made you can see how it's pushed off to one side and it's pushed off in the in the side that goes towards the console whereas the JK seat is not that way it's pretty much equidistant from the edge on both sides I like that word equidistance guys here's generally how i'm going to do the brackets you can kind of see what i did here i'm using this um i'm using the existing bolt hole for right now i'm probably going to change that that normally would hold the seat belt female end in and then up here i've put this, this is a quarter inch steel uh I put a quarter inch bracket right here they'll have three bolts in it and then of course the bolt for the slider and then this one will have two bolts and then this bolt right here uh it'll be super strong you can see that the only other issue i'm going to run into is the seat belts I'm... nice i'm going to have to change the seat belts because you can see this is the jk seat belt and it is much smaller the male side is so i'm going to have to use my tj seat belt which more or less fits of course now i'm going to, have to figure out what to do with that bolt hole because i repurposed it Probably what I'm going to do is sandwich it between there instead of on top. Sandwich it between there and then tighten it down. And that should be fine. I did have to drill new holes for the two studs uh, here uh, here, and here uh, to get them just a little bit further to the left and a little bit higher so that it would fit around the roll cage. All in all, I drilled one hole, one hole, and then four holes in this piece of metal and three holes in this piece of metal and one hole in this bracket right here to fit right there and that's all i did so it was one little piece of quarter inch two inch by i don't know what is that about 10 inches worth of metal um and just a, a, a drill press uh the one thing that this won't do i haven't figured out yet is how to get the slide to work uh with this this is the cable that when you pull the seat forward the, the seat back forward that makes it automatically release the slide so that it slides forward it's, it's not that important on this particular seat because from what i've read online if this seat so the seat's so much bigger that when it slid forward there's not enough room for it to tilt forward so you want it to always slid back anyway uh, when you try to do the fold and tumble option so it's not even important for this to slide forward when it when it tumbles you want it all the way back so i don't even have to hook this up it doesn't really do anything i'm probably just going to tie it up all right guys there it is there's the slider all bolted up excuse my workbench i like to keep things messy as i'm working you can see that the tj seat belt is in and it's functional uh it's bolted down look i've already sat down in it put it on the floor and sat in it there's no give there's no no movement whatsoever this this quarter inch steel is a whole hell of a lot stronger than what they, than this small stuff that they use to build the seat out of anyway one side's in and it looks awesome i i just can't believe how much better it looks i know that the gray and the tan kind of clash a little bit but who gives a shit it looks good and it feels good it looks like they're about the same height but really they're not you sit more down into the seat and so if i sat in both seats 
my head would be just at the top of this headrest, but it'd be well over that headrest. I was gonna raise the seats up a little bit to give me a little more leg room, but my head gets way too close to the roll cage if I raise them up, so I'm not going to. Guys, here's a better idea of what the brackets look like before I paint them. Uh, you can see what I did here. I just put uh, two bolts in here with a bolt hole for the riser. Same over here, of course. That one will also hold the uh, female end of the seat belt. And then this one will fairly straightforward. Two bolts with a riser uh, bolt hole. And then I redrilled this bolt hole to match to get the seat over far enough. And that's all you got to do. And now I'm going to put the riser back on and I'm going to slap that baby in the Jeep. We are almost done with this video. I've got to wash this Jeep because it is disgusting. Uh, so we're going to wash that real quick before I finish the video. Then I'll show you the seats uh, and, and what they look like installed and may preview the next video because I had something happen the other day uh, driving the Jeep around that sucked and it has now caused me to have to do something to the front that uh, I wasn't planning on. But, but I may preview that, but first let's wash this Jeep much better. Now we can take the top off and finish putting in the seats. Take a closer look. Hopefully you saw the most of that in the video, how they went in, at least what I could show that didn't get corrupted or, or that uh, didn't get rained out in some way or another. Uh, all right, so I've driven the Jeep a couple times now uh, since putting them in, and man, they are a world of difference between the TJ and JK seats. I really can't express how much more comfortable they are for someone that's, that's a little bit taller uh, because of how wide the top of the seat backs are. They fit great. I don't see any cons right now. Uh, they've already gotten wet one time because I left the top down in the rain. Uh, they dried out very quickly. So uh, so they're they're gonna work great. And I highly suggest anyone who's looking for a way to upgrade their uh, older TJ seating uh, to, to look into it. If you have the newer TJ seating, it may not be for you. A few things to call out. Obviously, they fit very close to the, to the roll cage when you get them in there. They are up against both sides very tightly and so guys if you liked the video please hit the subscribe button please hit the thumbs up um, and be looking out for some more videos coming very soon uh, i do have a couple more that i'm about halfway done with uh, that i should be posting pretty quickly uh, and some of them are kind of a how-to and a couple of them are just some some random videos so so subscribe if you want to see more and uh and leave me a message if you have any questions thanks guys have a great day